The film is about a, a group of deep sea researchers and miners and developers, people that are at a kind of substation at the bottom of the ocean doing drills and picking up data and doing all this research and just out of the blue one day they're totally knocked back by a giant earthquake that kind of just decimates the the substation where they're where they're staying and living and it's collapsing and flooding and they have uh, uh, no time to try and figure out a way to get out of it and to get back up to the surface he gets amped on set like he loves making movies and he really throws himself into it and kind of pushes us to go further on things and pushes us sometimes to, to, to kind of look at it from an angle that I might have missed or not even thought of. Um, and he kind of keeps it in that sense of just like, this should be a fun, cool, wild thing that we're doing. They have to leave the station where they are. And the only way to do that is to get into these massive deep sea diving suits and take this kind of treacherous and uncertain walk uh, across the seafloor to get to this other part of the station. And there's no guarantee that they'll even be able to survive it. There's no guarantee that the suits will even survive that kind of a walk, but it's their only chance. Unlike doing a lot of green screen work, we did a lot of, um, of this kind of like black screen work where it's just the set is just kind of plunged into kind of darkness with specific lighting you know schemes kind of drawn up but for the most part you're just out there on kind of a dark stage and I actually kind of enjoyed those days because you don't really know what you're looking at and what's happening and instead of like staring down a big bright green screen you're actually just looking out into darkness which is kind of much more evocative of what I think the film's gonna look like and that's what it would be like if you were down actually you know that many fathoms um, below the sea. There is some stuff where that takes place in a flooded kind of tunnel in this canal and it's flooding and it's about up to our chests and we, we reach a point where it's blocked and we can't go any further and it's very claustrophobic and those were th th those were my favorite days on the set because we were actually in this flooded set it was dark and we couldn't uh, unlike other sets, the director and not everybody could get in the water with us. They had to kind of shoot from the sidelines and stuff. So it really, and in between takes, if they turned off the lights or anything, you suddenly were just in this kind of flooded tunnel. And those days made it so easy to to do it because all you had to do was react to what's happening around you. And like that's what every actor I think really wants is just an environment that feels real. Anytime I catch a frame of the movie, like anytime I see a playback on a monitor, like it's just, it's wild. Like it really is like a, like a ride, like a, a wild ride, but one that's like, it has really sharp corners. So it, there is like a ton of danger and like kind of every frame just visually is really striking and really alive. I think it's just kind of like, I think that it, from the minute it starts, it's just kind of like, you know, buckle yourself in and, and, uh, and take off.